Good morning, traders. Good afternoon, traders. Welcome back to Rev Daily Traders Weekly Forecast. Okay. Hope you are well. Hope you did trade well the past week. Uh, if you are new to this channel, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay. So that you can get every video that we're going to publish for you guys. Okay. Uh, for now, we're going to start with our work of today and see how the chart is going to unfold the coming week okay we are preparing for the past week guys okay right uh we're going to start with gold on gold if you remember guys we are still in a downtrend move okay uh in this downtrend move we've got this down move We've got this pullback, okay? We've got this down move. We've got this pullback, a correction. Then we've got another pullback. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, okay? According to our strategy, this uh, symbolizes an ending structure or ending wave, okay? So now what next? Uh, remember, we've got this one, two, three okay uh on our last publish we were expecting this to push up again up until we get to that point okay but we didn't get to that point then the market reversed or rejected to this supply okay on this roof guys we got a rejection price there okay after the market went aggressively then a corrective structure here so this gave us a signal for us to take the trade down okay then we took our tps around 1674 okay so if you are not in this trade from this uh floor then we'll be waiting for the price to give a correction then a push up here guys okay then for for us to take those buys guys you can even let the market to push an aggressive move to break 16.74, then give a pullback here, and you can take the buy. That buy will be expecting to expose that roof. Okay, guys. Uh, for sell, guys, we are not seeing any sell at the current state, guys. Okay, unless the market give us a bigger corrective structure here, then we'll be having a down move there. Okay, so. For now, we'll be watching for our buy setups on gold, guys, okay? So do trade with care on gold. Then we'll go to our next pair. That will be USDT, right? On USDT, guys, we got nice drop there, okay? After the market rejected that price, okay? So we got a nice drop from that price. So the market after getting that Fed or CPI, we got we we got a aggressive move to downside. Okay, but we are expecting the price to come in, expose that floor, then expect a push up or a corrective structure here, guys. Okay, for us to go down again, cause we didn't come to this demand. Okay, so. This was our first demand. This was our second demand. So the market pushed lower again aggressively, guys. Okay. Then after breaking this demand, we got the price stuck to that demand here, guys. Okay. It was not preparing to go outside, uh, upside, but we took that sell. Okay. So after now, what next now? We'll be expecting to come and expose this price. Okay for us to look for sell setups around that uh, zone, okay? So we'll be looking for our sell setups to push again to 30, 200, okay? We'll be expecting to expose that price, okay, guys? So this running flag should play out very well. But if you get the aggressive move, then from here, we're going to, we're going to get a rejection. Then if this is going to hold, from this zone, we'll be looking for that buy, guys, okay? That buy 
to expose 31,400, okay? So do trade with care on US 30, right? We're going to our next pair, that will be NAS, guys. Let's go to NAS. Right, on NAS 100, remember also, after getting this ending diagonal here, guys, we got a nice setup or nice drop there, okay? But it went aggressively. Also, we were expecting the price to hold this demand or this demand, okay? Then for us to give a corrective structure, then a down move again, okay? Because we are expecting to expose uh, 11,680 on NAS 100, okay? 11,600 is where you'll be looking for your TPs for sales, okay? If you are in sell from here, even from here, okay? So you'll be managing your trade. Well, you should look for your corrective structure there. Eh? then a down move again okay then if you see a market breaks this trend then you'll be expecting a corrective structure here for you to take that buy okay that buy should be exposing 12 for 12,400 or 12,300 okay so do manage your trade well guys we'll be looking for that short buy on NAS 100, okay? You'll be expecting the pullback here, a corrective structure on lower time frame. Then you'll be looking for that up move. That up move, your first TP will be 12,000, okay? Then if you get a break here, then you'll be expecting a, pull, a pullback of correction, then take that buy to 12,300, okay? So do trade with K on NAS 100, guys. Then we're going to our next pair that will be SMP 500, right? On SMP 500, also it's similar to any kind of stock that we are trading on Rev Daily Traders. Okay, uh, after testing that uh, that roof is this supply, guys. Okay, that supply we did get a rejection here after getting that ending diagonal there. Okay, so we got a break trade there. Okay. Also, we're expecting the price to expose this zone, okay? For us to get a corrective structure here, then a drop again. But the market went aggressively, then we expected this to hold or this demand to hold. But the market did break aggressively to downside, okay? After that downside, it gave us a corrective structure. So, from here, we took our profit here, guys, okay? We took our profit because we we're expecting the price to push back to come and expose 4,000, then a drop again. So now, what next? The price broke aggressively this trend, okay? So now we'll be expecting a short buy on S&P 500. We we'll let this to push up again to 39.20 then get a pullback or a correction, then to expose this price, okay? This trend line to be exposed, then you'll be looking for a drop on S&P 500. This will be your correction for drop, okay? Continuation, drop. So do trade with care on S&P 500, guys, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Uh, and also share this video to other traders, guys, okay? Uh, so that they can get help also, okay? Right, on German Daisy, remember, there was a sell set up around that price, okay? Then from here, we took a loss here, guys, okay? Why we took a loss for buy? After taking that TP, we we're expecting the price to push up again, to that price before we drop. So we took a risk of buy here. Then this was our loss, not a break even trade, okay? We took a loss from here, but that's the part of game on trading, guys, okay? Then after breaking that demand, this demand, guys, this demand with this candle, 
we got a corrective structure here for us to take another drop, okay? Then we recovered this loss that we got there. Then for us to take that drop, then for now, on Friday, we are in this buy, okay? After the market did hold that demand. So we'll be expecting the price to push up again to come and expose that zone, okay? So we'll be biased to upside when the market opens Monday. Then from maybe from Tuesday, we'll be expecting that drop on German dates, okay? We're expecting the price to expose uh, these two prices, okay? 12,100 to 12,000. So those are our TP when we're going to get that drop from there, okay? Then if you are looking for a uh, drop on German date at the current state, we'll let this to push down here, give you a corrective structure here below that demand, okay? Then we'll be looking for a drop on that price, okay? To expose 12,100. So do trade with care on German dates, guys, okay? Then we're going to our next pair that will be US oil. Right, then US oil. This was interesting, guys, okay? We are biased from that zone, okay? After the market did hold that demand, okay? Then the market pushed up, then gave us another zone for us to buy from that demand. Then we bought. Then from here, guys, we took our TP. Why we took our TP here? We we're expecting the market to give us a bigger correction before we go up. Okay. So the market did give us a one, two, three structure. Okay. Then we didn't take that buy because there was nothing to buy there because we got a aggressive move with this week. Okay. Upside. So we were expecting the market to push lower again, come and expose that demand okay then from there we'll be taking our buy but we didn't take any buy on us oil guys okay then the market after pulling back here we thought okay now we'll be looking for our buy setups to push up to come and expose that uh roof but we didn't get any buy setup here guys okay then the market pull back and break that demand that we are expecting to hold. Then from there, we let the market to push down. Then it broke this trend line, okay? Then from now, we'll be looking for our sell setup to go down on US oil, okay? So for you, you'll be looking for this correction to play out well for you. Then you'll be taking that drop, okay? So do trade with care. You can put your limit below here or below here, guys, okay? But below here, it's, it will be much safer for you to let the market to breathe, okay? Because this can push lower, then up, then down again, okay? So do manage your trade well on US oil, guys, okay? We are biased to downside on US oil. So we'll go to our next pair, guys. That will be... US ZA, right, on US ZA, USD ZA, guys, okay, a dollar rand, right, on dollar rand, we are biased to upside, guys, okay, the opening of that market there, it make us to take that drop, okay, then that drop to complete a running flag that we predicted, okay, that we know, so from here, we took uh, our TP for this drop, okay? Then we let the market put our buy limit from there for us to take this buy, okay? So we were biased to upside on dollars uh, the past week, okay? So now what next if you didn't take your TP? You should wait for the market to open, then close your trade. We are looking for our drop on dollars are okay this can tend to be a aggressive move to downside or we can get a a corrective structure again for 
in AppMove, okay? But we'll see how the market is going to behave around that price or uh, that zone, okay? So now what next? We'll let these two push down, give you a pullback on lower time frame to respect that supply, okay? Then we'll look for our sell set up around that uh, zone. 1758 okay you'll be watching for your cell setup again for you to take the drop okay that drop will expect 1730 1730 to be exposed there okay then from there we'll see if we we got a corrective structure for a nice push up to expose 1787 again okay but this will give us a clue if we are going upside or we are turning aggressively okay then if you will be looking for a sell setup guys you'll be expecting to you'll be expecting guys to wait for the, the market to give you a nice breakout from 